So this here is the Rygor 2 WG-10 by Fantech. It is a very, very, very cheap mouse. So I really wouldn't expect it to match up with the Superlight in any way, but I guess we're going to give it a try. So unlike the Superlight or the Jeepo Wireless or the Mal-O Wireless, um, it actually runs on AA batteries rather than charging. So you can tell that that's already one minus or one downside to it. If I match it up to my Mal O wireless over here, which is on for some reason, give me a sec. If I match it up to my Mal O wireless over here, it is definitely a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot smaller than my Mal O wireless. So uh, yeah, if I'm not wrong, I believe it is using a red LED sensor, so it's not gonna be very good for tracking. Okay, so I've just plugged in the mouse, and I can really see a problem. If you track it like this, it's actually not bad. It actually kind of feels pretty smooth and pretty good. But the minute you try to flick. Oh my god, I'm just moving my, my mouse left and right. And this is what's happening to my screen right now. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is gonna go because I'm not gonna be able to flick my mouse. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually turn my sensitivity way up, right? When it comes to the actual clicks itself, they don't feel that bad. And tracking, aside from, you know, the, the, the sensor problem, it actually really doesn't feel that bad. And it, do it doesn't have double click prevention, so you can drag click on it. It's not that easy, but you're on 11 CPS. It's not completely terrible. Oh my god, I just queued forward because one of my friends. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't have chat off. <laughs> you a straight line. It's an absolute hell right now. Okay. Okay, I can't flick, but I can still... Oh mm, my god, okay. Wait! <laughs> it just made me... F <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, okay. It kind of like brings me to where I want to go and then it brings me back to where I was earlier. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn so slowly. Uh, wait, is he out of speed as well? Nah. I'm in all the pots. Oh, he's cute. I mean, yeah, he won. Bro, I, I did a video with a $5 mouse and I did a video with a mouse that was like the size of my freaking thumb and both of those were easier and less painful to film than, than this one. Also, this man's teleporting. That pot! Dude, I'm not even kidding. Like, I just flick my mouse like this and it brings me to some like weird like... Uh... I, can't, I can't even turn to look at him because it makes my, it makes my uh, mouse like go all weird. Like, I just want to do a- Okay, I'm going to try to do a 360 degrees right now. <laughs> I can't- <laughs> The sensor is too, like- Oh my god. The sensor is too sensitive. So it's like- the, You know how, like, mouse pads aren't, like, 100% smooth? Um, Like, every single, like, atom I actually wanted. Every single atom. <laughs> like, every single, like, small, rough thing- on the mouse pad surface, just makes just makes this thing go haywire. Like this is okay. It's kind of like ah oh, okay. And then I try doing a 360, and my crosshair just goes. I'm literally moving my head from left to right. <laughs> I'm having a seizure, bro. All right, I am done with this mouse. Holy shit! How do I turn this off? Oh, the light is blinding. And give me back the battery. You're not. Give me back. Come on, it's an alkali battery. I'm not wasting it on you. Anyways, guys, it's gonna be it for the video. If you do enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.